Candace coaches a high school volleyball team. Every day, when the girls show up for practice, Candace has them count their pulse for one minute and write their results on the board. There are 21 girls on the team, and they all show up on Monday. Here are their heart rates. We want to see patterns in this data, so we can reorganize this list from smallest to largest. We can now find the median. Remember, if there are 21 heart rates arranged in order, the median is the one in the middle. That means we count to the 11th one, 74. There are 10 slower heart rates, 10 faster heart rates, and the median of 74 for a total of 21 heart rates. We also want to find the most common heart rate, the mode. 72 shows up three times on the list, which is more than any other value. So the mode is 72 beats per minute. But there's a better way to organize this data so we can see the overall spread and understand the distribution of heart rates. Instead of listing the data, we can organize it in a stem and leaf plot. To construct it, we list the first digits of the heart rates. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Those are the stems of our plot. Now we just list the second digits to the right of each first digit. So for 51, 57, and 59, we just write 1, 7, and 9 to the right of the 5. Those are the leaves. We do this for all the remaining heart rates. Counting 11 heart rates to the median is a bit easier now. There it is, 74. Can you see the mode? There it is, 72. Where are most of the heart rates concentrated? Near the median or at the extremes? There are more heart rates close to the median. On Tuesday, only 20 students show up for practice. Candace has students record their data directly into a stem and leaf plot. She puts the first digits on the board for the students. Then the students write the second digits of their heart rate to the right of the correct stem. Can you find the median? Since there are only 20 students, we count to the 10th student and average the heart rates of the 10th and the 11th. The average of 72 and 78 is 75 beats per minute. Can you see the mode? Here it is, 63. Is the data clustered around any values? There are two clusters of data, one in the 60s and one in the 80s. Our stem and leaf plot revealed an interesting pattern. Can you think of a reason for there to be two clusters like this? This group was relaxing because they were on time, and this group ran to practice, arriving just before the bell. Stem and leaf plots can help us find the median and mode, and also reveal patterns in the distribution of data. Use stem and leaf plots when you want a simple yet powerful way to organize and visualize your data.